Hello everyone, welcome back. I just finished another gold farm. Like I've said in the previous video, I'm pretty obsessed with gold farms. I really like how this one looks though. Anyway. Uh, so. Okay, that was weird. My phone just did that. Anyway, um, this is my... 26 by 26 water stream for my mobs and this is my new gold farm looks pretty weird doesn't it huh so for the most part most of the area is blocked I mean piglins still can come through it but I have the uh, area where most of them will be right here open on the south and the east side and then on the inside on the north the north and the west and then is a trident killer system this system has a sticky piston and um a slime block it'll shoot out the item as fast as possible and then there's also water in there uh, that design is based off a uh, golden helmet 403 if that's his name if I remember correctly that is based off of his design <clears throat> and let's see and then doing this for my observer for the portal igniter this is Navy Nexus And then this is how the portal looks from up top, or the gold farm looks from up top. Let's go down. That's the bottom. You, I did have this redstone contraption and components hidden. But when I did have the blocks here and stuff, the zombie piglins would jump over here and then go wherever they want, which really messes with the raid and then you don't want zombie piglins roaming about so there's that so before you couldn't see any of the redstone except for maybe a few things here and there such as like this you, you would be able to see that and stuff like this and that so I was trying to as much as possible hide most of the redstone and like I said before the other sides were like this on both the inside and outside. So all you'll see is like the occasional maybe observer and maybe a redstone torch and then here's the dropper, no not dropper, the dispenser, wow I had the brain fart right there. So I was trying my best to keep it hidden, but like I said, when I had all those blocks here, they would jump over here and then they'll get outside of where I want them to be. So let's go down in here. And of course we can't see in there. But there's a soul fire in there. You can barely see it. Okay, so it that I'm just shooting out all the experience and items into there because I'm not really looking to collect this. I'm just really just showcasing this gold farm. And how do you turn it on? You're probably wondering. Oh, and this required a lot of observers, a whole bunch of observers. Okay, anyway, we'll go in here. So, how to use this? You'll fly in the middle of the gold farm land on this platform I made it big enough so you can fly and take off go down here there's a switch for the portal and then the trident killer so trident killer is off I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on as you can see the trident killer is now on now I'm gonna turn this on And crazy how much flickering that's doing. Hmm. I 
let's actually come out of this and look at the spectacle so the reason why I built the Trident Killer the way I did is because I had built this water stream for the mobs on the ground I didn't intend to actually build a gold farm above it but it, it kind of just happened that way well I'm really glad on how it turned out though so I'm not complaining but I think this this is probably be the way I make my gold farms from now on and uh, yes this is my own design this I may have um, used some like ideas and stuff from previous gold farms I've seen from like JC plays Navy Nexus Silent Whisperer or like um, Blue Jay but for the most part most of this is all my original design this I mean anyone could make like a sticky piston with a redstone block with the two redstone dust on the side so I, I guess but I'm using that because I have my observer, observer facing down I could just have it just looking into this one to cause the other observers to go off but I didn't so I did that and then the dispenser system is my design Let's see the trident killer like I said that was from golden helmet 403 but yeah this is a uh, this is pretty cool so what I could probably do if I want to completely hide this well, there's a lot of mobs down there if I want to completely hide this I probably have to use the bigger uh, water stream for the mobs so it can actually catch all of them so I might go back to the lab and make an even bigger one this is um, a 26 by 26 one so I might go get one that's that one's my 24 by 24 and I think this is 33 okay so I might might use something like that with a smaller one underneath it who knows or I might just make another one where I don't have to have the second portion underneath but right, that's all I wanted to show y'all I really like how this turned out and for whatever reason really like the prismarine crystals blocks bricks uh, and the dark prismarine so anyway thank you for watching yet again and take care